Hello, it's Sunday the 31st of October 2021. Welcome along gang. Uh, we've got another type of vegan bacon to try for our, it's actually brunch today I'm doing brunch. It's very large. You won't just see how much I'm gonna be eating later. Um, so we're gonna try that out today. I've already cooked um, some onions and um, mushrooms. The funny thing is the mushrooms always seem to disappear, don't they? I, I put loads of mushrooms in, I can't even see them among the onions now. I kind of put them in the same thing, so there we are. Uh, so they're done now. Um, I'm just gonna put these on a plate. Can you see, mmm, look at that. Mmm, oh the smell, I can't tell you the smell. It's beautiful, all right? So we put those on there and uh, stick those in the oven just to keep them warm. But uh, we're mainly trying this other brand of vegan bacon today. Right, those in there, on low. So this is the bacon, the bacon we're trying today uh, from Morrison's again. Oh, I nearly got ripped off in Morrison's. I, I bought some of their own brand of butter it said £1.75. Well, it's a good job I checked the self-service till. Come up as two pounds. Two pounds. And I have to say, very nice lady. Excuse me, excuse me. I'm, I'm sure this says £1.75 on the label round there. Oh, she said, oh, I'll go and check for you and hands it to someone else. She was in charge of the self-service checkout. Well, God knows how much stuff gets nicked out of there. But anyway, um, uh, and she come back, she says, oh, you're right, it's £1.75. I'm very sorry, I'll adjust it for you. I should think so too, dear. We haven't got money to burn. God, an extra 25 pence nearly left my account. Outrageous. Anyway, um, so this is from Morrison's. Now, this was slightly cheaper than the other one I showed you the other day. I think this was £2.75, all right? So it does look much more like bacon then the other one that several of you have mentioned actually looks like dog chews, but tastes very nice. In fact, um, someone has emailed into the show and uh, said he really likes it. Hang on a minute, let me see if I can find that. Uh, what have I done here? Was it, was it, uh, I can't remember where it was now. Let's have a quick look. Oh, no internet connection, wonderful. Come on, well, we'll wait for that. I'll do that a little bit later. This obviously needs a little bit more. Oh, there we are, we're signed on now. Let's have a quick look at this. Actually, no. Let's put this in there so it can start cooking. But there we are. Uh, this is called VBCN, it says. All Day Videli Rashers, which is a bit of an odd name, but um, it's not exactly appealing, the name, is it? Plant powered, okay, so once again, vegan. Let's have a smell of it first. We'll just open this up. Oh, isn't this your favourite sort of packet to open with no actual way of doing it? Oh, I do hate these damn things. Oh, uh, scissors. Uh, scissors. Okay. Of course, gang, if you're, um, you know, if you're using sharp scissors, do get an adult to help you. Right, okay. So let's, mm, well. Doesn't smell as nice as the other one, okay? I'll tell you that straight away. Um, the consistency isn't as nice. But it does look a little bit more like bacon. Anyway, we'll see how we get on with this. Um, have I still got oil in there? Oh, I think that'd be all right. So I'll put some of those in here. Let's turn those baked beans up as well, we're at it. How many of these do we want? And generally the vegan stuff, it's not like real bacon. It doesn't shrink, okay? So what you put in the pan is what you get back usually because I don't add all sorts of water with it, at least not yet. <laughs> all right, so we'll put four of these in. And we'll see how we get on. They're falling apart already, okay? So, but it's all about the taste. I'm not bothered about too much about how they look. All right, the beans are on. I've got three lash rashes left. Uh, I haven't read the instructions, so we read them. Sorry I'm a bit echoing here, it's the fact because we're in a kitchen. I haven't got one of those little mics with me. Um, cooking, remove rashers, place in a preheated lightly oiled pan, cook at a moderate heat for about, oh, one and a half minutes, is that all? Blimey, one and a half minutes each side it says. Okay, so I'll put these back in the fridge. We 
We've got some eggs on standby as well. The beans are on, they're taking a long time. One and a half minutes it says, okay. If that's what it says, we're now on ticket tick time talk, countdown. Butter, 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 butter. Anyone watching Countdown with Anne Robinson? I want her to be rude. <laughs> like she used to be in the weakest link. Ow! Oh, we can't have her upsetting anyone. Oh, no, 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 we don't want to see that. Oh, God, blimey. Get yourself arrested. Right. How are we doing? It's about time these beans were bubbling. Why are they taking so long? I might be tea as well. That no noise of dogs you can hear is my um, uh, my ring doorbell. That's now set to the sound of dogs. I just like the sound of dogs. Uh, while that's cooking, we'll turn those over now. Let's see if we can find this uh, message from someone who kindly uh, took the time to send a, a comment in on the bacon. I don't know where that's gone. Um, Sorry gang, bear with me a minute. There was definitely a message here from someone, making tea. Oh, and Gary the cat's made an appearance. Hi Gary. All right, go outside and get rid of those nasty pigeons for me, mate. Let's see if we can find this. I think it was from Andy, if I remember rightly, it's from Andy. Here we go, there, Andy Baker. Hello Andy, all right, thanks for uh, taking the time to send a message in, who says, Thanks, Chris Reardon, for the, for the suggestion of the veggie bacon. You remember the last show? It was called This Is Not Bacon. Okay, that was the brand of that, three pounds a packet. Well, Andy Baker's tried it out and he says, Thanks, Chris Reardon, for the suggestion of my veggie bacon. It's divine and my whole family is now converted. I'm glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Well done, Andy. I'm very pleased that uh, uh, you've tried something else. We don't try and convert anyone here. I just re I'll just share with you my experiences with, and that's it. Okay, so we're going to turn these over now. All right. See how they go. They 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 they're coming across as much drier than the last one. I have a feeling these are going to be a bit of a cardboardy. Um, text on there. Right, so that's that. Uh, another couple of messages coming in on the last show that we did. Do you remember uh, we were talking about Tesco's and they've got a, a quiet um, uh, a quiet hour in Tesco's on Mondays and Wednesdays in some of their stores between 9 and 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit dark today, aren't I? Sorry about it. Uh, and uh, it says here, Mike in Brighton. Hello, Mike. Says, a theme night, naked men's night shopping. I'd be at the meat counter. Yeah, well, you, you wouldn't be. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I've heard about you, Mike. You wouldn't exactly be confused for a sausage, would you? At least not a large fat one, my love. All right. Thank you very much, Mike. <laughs> and uh, George Bond uh, says, on the subject of the quiet nights, and he comes out with a very good comment, actually, uh, going to turn the cash registers down... What's going to happen to blind people? They won't know if they've scanned the item or not. So that's a very good point. Whether or not they turn off the bleeping, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if that would be turned off, uh, but there you go. Thank you very much for your uh, two messages there. If you want to leave a comment at all or, uh, uh, or an email, then uh, you can comment just uh, below this video. Stick your comments in there and they get read out on the next show. Or you can send an email if you've got something longer to say. Chris at United kingdomtalk.co.uk is my email address right? chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk right now i think these are done by the looks of them all right let's have a look that uh, pan is on very high up they don't smell of much i'll be honest okay there it is that's not looking very appealing is it really i've probably overdone them a bit to be honest Okay, they're a little bit black there, but uh, we'll try them out. Let's put them on the warming plate in here with the rest of the stuff, and I'll do the eggs. All right, put those on there. Asbestos fingers, they call me. There you go. So that's what we got so far on there. It looks nice to me, it looks all right. Right, if the beans are stirred, and we'll stick the eggs on as well. See if we can do them without breaking them, as I did the other day. Whoa! 
One unbroken egg, yes. I shouldn't have three, should I? No, there's enough food there. Don't be greedy, Chris. And two unbroken eggs. Thank you very much. Mmm. There we are. This is a much larger meal than I showed you the other day. If you was to have this for breakfast, I reckon you'd go all day on this. Really. Put those eggs away. Do you put eggs in the fridge, by the way? Do you? I do. I do, but they're never in the fridge in the supermarket, are they? I wonder if you're actually not, is there a reason, like you're, perhaps you're not supposed to put eggs in the fridge? Anyone know anything about that? Anyone know? Usual comment section, my darlings, all right? Okay, they'll be done in a minute. Something's burning. <laughs> is that, unfortunately, you're not one of bleeping pigeons that keeps sitting on my roof and cooing. Go, go, go. <coughs> of course, it's the, uh, pro oh, one of the eggs is broken. How uh, disappointing, never mind. Of course, it's a proper Halloween today, gang. I uh, don't know if any of you be going out to any parties or not. Uh, we've just done two very successful, actually, Halloween karaoke nights at Central Station. Uh, you may have seen the winner already on Friday. Now, I can't remember, the, was there a winner tonight or not? Or last night or not on Saturday? I can't remember now. But, um, yeah, the winner on Friday night, he had like a, a dead blackbird on his head. I'm led to believe it was an actual real blackbird that was walking around during the morning and he managed to catch it, strangle it and stuff it and stick it on his head for the costume, which is perfectly acceptable, isn't it? That's great talking about that when we're doing vegan bacon, isn't it, eh? This is, of course, as was the other day, this is not a vegan breakfast, okay? The bacon's vegan, the baked beans are vegan, uh, the mushrooms are vegan, and the uh, onions are vegan. The eggs are not vegan. If you want to be a proper vegan, you have to eat stuff that has nothing whatsoever uh, to do with animals, all right, my darling? So we're not vegan because of the eggs in this. Just to point that out before the vegans start uh, coming around and sticking themselves to the pavements and things like that. Right, that's almost done now. Just another couple of minutes uh, on the eggs. Let's just chuck these in. I always put the eggshells on the garden. Do you do that? I've got like a in, a, in a growing bit out there. Back in the moat. Stay there. Right, tea's done. Are you done, eggs? They're done. Okay, they're done. Right, get me thing out. How hot would that be now? Oh, that's okay. Well, you know what I did the other day? I had my glasses on the cooker here. Look. <laughs> they melted on the cooker. Luckily, I was managed to get the plastic off before it uh, uh, was on there. Right, let's move some of this stuff to the side. I can't believe how big this, br this brunch is today, but there we go. We'll enjoy this. Of course, All Saints Day as well today. Those of you who are... Uh, Catholics, Church of England, anything like that. It's All Saints today. Um, I shall be playing the organ. You may have seen this before or after I do that at the uh, 11 o'clock mass today. Um, which I'm quite nervous about because I haven't done that now for a year and a half, year and three quarters. I do have an instrument here, like a piano type thing, but it's not the same as, as playing on a, on a church organ. Is that done? There we go. Come on, get it out without breaking it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I've turned it over and broken it. Never mind. Okay. Do you have the scrapings inside as well? Do you? Right. And the beans, and that's it. Look at this. Oof. Wait till you see how much I've got to eat here. Shocking, really. Come on, there you go. That's it. Mmm. Oh, I say. Nothing better than some bean juice, is it? 
Oh. Mm. Do you like beans? Oh. Mm. Mm. Alrighty. So here is my small brunch. <laughs> Come in the room and we'll uh, try out the bacon. All right. Mmm. Oh, it smells nice. Oh. Does anyone else see? This is how I live. <laughs> I could have got a table out and pretended that I sit up at a table. I even use a cushion as a lap thing to make it a bit higher. Right. Let's try out this, this vegan bacon, okay? I, this is, I mean, it's like a piece of cardboard. All right, let's try it. No. It tastes very slightly like bacon. It's crispy, maybe I cooked it too long. It's not worth the money. No. I mean, maybe with a bit of beans, but... No. Not that one. Okay. So, we're trying out this today. That's the one. Came from Morrison's. V Bacon. It's called £2.75. It's not worth it, and it's by... Uh, it says V bites on it, palm oil free, which is important. Uh, the jelly rashers. I would avoid that one. It's not nice. It looks better than the other one. This was the other one that we tried the other day, just for comparison again. Um, this isn't bacon. This is delicious. It smells like bacon. It tastes like bacon. I must warn you, your cooking area will smell of this for the whole day. Okay, if you'd cook it, but it's the closest thing to bacon I've ever tasted. It, it's lovely. It's a really nice taste. It's dearer than that three pounds. All right. So that's the winner at the moment. All right. Um, George Bond uh, suggested that we try the um, the corn bacon. Uh, I haven't located that yet. So as soon as I find some of that, I'll try that as well. If there's any other um, sort of vegan bacon you want me to try. Just put it in the comments section below, or you can send an email, chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk, and uh, I'll try that for you as well. Mm. Onions and mushrooms. Mm. Lovely. It's better than the bacon anyway. Leave that one out. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully see you again tomorrow. Enjoy your Halloween. Ta-da.